Welcome to State of Tech, my name's Jared, and today I am unboxing some nostalgia from my childhood. This is the Science Fair 60-in-1 Electronic Project Lab. Now, this is not the one that I had as a child. My wife, I had told her about uh, these, that I had these things growing up, and she was at a thrift store or something like that, and found this thing for $3, and bought it for me. And it's basically brand new, even though the box looks a little aged. Um, so I thought it would be fun to talk about it and unbox it and maybe even do a little project here. Um, so basically what this is, is a it, electronics um, lab that lets you build projects uh, using this, this electronics board. It has different, um, different electronic pieces on it and it comes with instructions and wires and all sorts of stuff and it allows you to build these little electronic projects. Now I think this one may even be a little bit newer than a model that I had because this one um, eh, it doesn't have a year or anything like that on it so it's really it's really hard to say. Let's take a look at the instruction book here and see if maybe there's you know something in the beginning of it that gives me a year I just don't see anything off the bat that is going to tell me the age of this particular model. So anyways, the idea here is that this will help you uh, learn how to do electronics, learn how to how everything works and kind of teach you just the basics. Um, we've got resistors down the side, we've got diodes, we've got just radio circuits, we've got all sorts of stuff on here relays, buzzers, and you can create cool little projects. Let's just, just to kind of give you an idea, I'll run down some of the projects that you can create. You know, so um, uh, some of these would be like a fader control, a latch on and off circuit, a oscillator circuit, a magnetic noise detector, an electronic siren, you know, a music from a pencil, which probably needs a pencil, I don't have one here. Um, clap on a light, so like the old clapper, you know, it, a rain detector, a radio station, a wireless rain detector, a metal detector, uh, lots of cool things that you can build, and they are very simple, uh, you know, TikTok sound, a police light. So there's, there's lots of simple things that you can build here, and what I like about this is that it requires wiring. These days, they still make projects like this, but they're snap together circuits. So you basically take the circuits, snap them together in a certain order, and then it does stuff. What this allows you to do is actually wire them up like a project board, which I just lost a wire on the ground, and it gives you a much better idea of what, you know, uh, prototyping or laying out, you know, a, uh, a circuit board is gonna look like because you know when you're in the lab and you're putting together your own project you know you're starting out with wires it's very messy and then when you get further along in that prototyping stage and you get closer to an actual production model um, you know you you aren't working with wires so much you're, you're building custom PC boards and stuff like that but this is really an old-school way of basically where you start out and it's just Fantastic. So let's go ahead and just open up the manual and let's see if I can find a uh, something simple. So, uh, you know, a light dimmer, that sounds like maybe something simple. Let's go with a police light. So we're going to go to page 30 and we've got a police light uh, here. So the police light it says, uh, you know, and, and the idea here is that you kind of start at the beginning and work your way through. Because it says, in, remember in Project 15, we said that we would make a circuit that automatically flashes both lights. Well, this is, is the circuit. Uh, from the wiring sequence and the schematic, you can see uh, that this circuit is exactly like Project 26. The difference is that we changed how fast the circuit oscillates. So obviously, you know, when a light is flashing, police uh, flashing lights go at a certain oscillation rate. And so you can actually control that here. So it gives you the schematic and what we basically have to do is create this. And it gives you the wiring sequence down here. So this is obviously really confusing to look at, especially if you are new to this, but giving you the wiring sequence definitely makes it much easier. So, and all of these are numbered as well. 
So this, this definitely, it takes a couple of batteries, and so, oh, it actually has batteries in it. Oh, that's cool, so I probably should take these out. So that probably tells me that it's not brand new. Maybe somebody has used it before. Um, the fact that it has some batteries in it, but we'll go ahead and pop out those batteries because they look a little old, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some new batteries, and we'll fast forward through some of these parts here so that you don't have to sit and watch me do all of this. All right, so we have our wiring sequence, so we are going to get started. Lots of different wire lengths here, and you can even cut your own wire length if you need to. So that was always the frustrating part to me, was you lift up the little spring and the wire would pop out, and you've gotta feed the wire back in there again, but that's all part of the fun. some flashing happening. I had to rotate the batteries a little bit because I think there might be just a little bit of corrosion on the batteries, <laughs> or on the battery terminals. Hey, this thing's older than most of your kids. All right, so we've got flashing lights. We've got our police lights, flashing red and yellow. So, of course, you know, all of the wiring that we just did through the resistors, through the capacitors, um, you know, and then through the battery is what's controlling this. It's what's making them flash. And it's just fun to, it's fun for me. I mean, I found this to be just really a blast when I was a kid, you know, to wire these things up and learn about why, why it's happening. You know, there's these different, there's these different resistors which are, you know, creating, uh, a, a resistance in currents in the current to the different lights. Um, and then there's the capacitor, which is keeping a charge of the power. And it's also going through um, a couple of other capacitors and uh, then a relay. And what all of that's doing is it's allowing the lights to flash uh, simultaneously and they keep going at the same rate which is really cool. Um, so obviously there's other things I could do. I mean, I could break out the um, the battery uh, here. I could run one battery over to, um, I could run one battery cable over to this switch here. And then I could run one cable back to the battery. And now I can switch it on and off which is cool. So it's just, you're able to add these things in and then just add more to it. And it's what makes this a very fun project. Now, if I wanted to, I could probably even wire in a buzzer. Uh, so we've got this piezo or piezo buzzer here. And if I wire it and connect it in to one of the LEDs or one of the lights, then we should actually get a oscillating buzzer sound, but you know, this is just how you learn. You try these different things. I could barely hear it. I don't think we're throwing enough power at the buzzer, so obviously I need to go back to the instructions and figure out how much power the little buzzer is gonna require. 
But this is fun. This, this is what got me into electronics, what got me interested in this type of stuff, and eventually computers and technology was starting out with this. My grandparents went to Radio Shack ages ago, bought me one of these units, and I even had a bigger one. I think it was you know two to three times this size and would just build projects, and I really enjoyed that um, kind of really introduction to electronic engineering back in my childhood, and man, this just brings back memories and is so much fun. So I'll put some links in the description below to the modern versions of these, but if you're at a thrift store or you find on eBay or something, one of these old project boards, uh, it's just, it's gonna be so cool for your kids, um, especially if you're wanting to introduce them to electronics and get them started. This is exactly where you start with something like this. So thanks so much for checking out this video. I hope to find more retro stuff from my childhood and share it with you all soon. Um, it definitely is bringing back the feels of my uh, early years. So thanks so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you like our channel here, subscribe so that you get notified when new videos come out. Make sure to check out the links in the description below to other electronic projects that you can get for your kids or even yourself if you're a big kid and you wanna play with electronics like me. Uh, I still enjoy this so much. So thanks so much for checking out our video and we hope to see you back here soon on State Attack.